Do you think your old West Coast swing is too basic? And you wanna change this? So let's change right now. On this video, I will tell you five things that make your dance too basic and how you will change this. Let's end this, okay? So let's go, let's advance your dance. This class is for you leader and for you follower advance your dance, okay? So it will work for both of you. To help me on this, Manu is here. Say hi, Manu. So how we will do? The first thing that makes your dance look so basic is when you don't use angles and when you dance like this. We keep the body like with full angle for your partner like this all the time like this without using angles in any moment yes this is a basic way to do the patterns of the West Coast Swing. You will use angles in different moments, okay? On the end of the patterns, on the middle of patterns, but right now, let's practice on the moment that you will use the most. That is on the anchor step and on the stretch, okay? Because we do this a lot when we dance West Coast Swing. We repeat this a lot. How it will be? I want to simply you think in, move all your side as a leader. You will move all your right side and as a follower, all your left side a little to back. Like this, you are open this angle and you will do your triple on that angle with this position, okay? How it will be? Let's do a sugar push and one, two, three, and four. And when you go do the triple, you use your angle and do the triple with the angle. Five and six, like this. In that case, I'm showing without footworks. But if you do nice footworks, you will use the angle too. You don't have to do like this. Use angles all the time, okay? This create a lot of amplitude for your dance. And on that specific moments, on the anchor steps and on the stretch, helps you to have more room on your hips to do the stretch, to do the connections. Show more the connections. This helps a lot. So try use this all the time when you go do the last triple. Angle, turum pum pa, turum pum pa. Angle, turum pum pa, turum tum ta. Angle, whatever you will do. Tum pa, tum pum pa. You end with angle. All right. So go practice this, okay? Put this in every anchor step and on your stretch. This second point that make your dance look so basic is when you do triple steps, basic triple steps all the time. Like this. Turum pum pa. Turum pum pa. And like all over the dance, you just do basic and regular triples. Turum ta. Turum pum pa. Basic triples. Turum pum pa. And basic triples. One thing that makes your dance look so advanced is when you are dancing and moving your feet in different ways, doing footworks. Right here, I don't will teach you footworks. I wanna teach you how you will practice this. I just want you think in one footwork. And to practice this, you will think and do this footwork all the time. Okay, to develop the ability to move in different ways your feet when you are leading the things. For example, one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, one, two, three, and four, pra cha. Okay? So, use footwork when you dance, you show the ability. Yes, I'm totally capable to lead wherever I wanna or to follow wherever you wanna, 
moving your feet in different ways, okay? So practice this. In that moment, the first moment for you to practice this, you don't need to think in a lot of different words. As I told you, think in just one or two and practice do this all the time, especially when you do anchor steps, that you show better this regular triple. Try practice with your favorite footwork, okay? For you, repeat, 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 repeat. Nice. The third thing that makes your dance look too basic is when you show a lot of arms when you lead. For example, and chum cha churum chum cha cha ra cha cha chum cha churum chum cha churum chum cha cha ra cha cha. Yes, this is too basic. In a more advanced way to lead, you lead in a more light way, using more the bodies in opposite way, in a more discreet way, okay? Have a different techniques that you can use less your arm. So you will practice, don't show a lot of arms. In West Coast Swing, we put more the attention on the body movements, okay? On the connections in opposite ways, on the footworks, but we don't use a lot of arms, okay? So you think in lead in a more light way, without using a lot of arms. You will save this energy for the other moments that you need. It's not necessary. You use a lot of information on the arms because we are in open positions. We have the connections. So, for example, to lead the turn, you will move in a discreet way, have the techniques of the hands that in another videos I will teach you. So, try don't show a lot of your arms, okay? Do everything in a more discreet way. The fourth thing that makes your dance look too basic is do sugar push all the time, all the time, all the time, because you don't know how to structure your dance, you don't know how to mix the patterns, you don't know how to take fast decisions to do a nice map of your dance. So you are doing like this, sugar push, and you are trying thinking which movement you will use and you do more sugar push, oh my god, what I will do, and you keep doing sugar push and you, oh nice, I will do another pattern, and you do one more pattern, but you think you keep doing more sugar push, and oh my god, I don't know what I will do, uh, let's do sugar push, and what I will do right now, sugar push, okay, you will practice in that moment, the first mission, try practice mix a lot of patterns, okay? Don't need to be a lot. Remember the patterns that you know, okay? And you will try mix them. You are not allowed to do sugar pushes together, okay? So your job will be do my pattern. If you are doing a sugar push, you can't do another. You need to do another thing. The game will be like this for you. And if you do a sugar push, you can't repeat. You need to do another thing. Oh my God, what, what I will do? Because I want you develop the ability to build your dance in a more advanced way, okay? Tip for you, my leader. When you start a movement, I wanna you think fast on the another movement that you do. I don't want you wait for the pattern and so you take the another decision, how you will do. For example, we did our first sugar push, right? We did. I started the sugar push. Right now you think, I will do a tuck turn. Nice. When I start the tuck turn, I will start thinking on the another pattern that I will do. I will do pass with turn. When I start the pass with turn, I want you to think on the another movement. I will do a whip. When I start the whip, think on another movement. I will do an underarm turn. Yes, yes, I will do underarm. And you will develop the ability to react fast, okay? To take fast decisions. So I really want you to practice this, okay? To advance your dance, 
mix patterns. Don't do sugar push all the time. And you follow, you develop the ability to follow different patterns. It would be so nice for you to practice this together. And the last one, the fifth thing that makes your dance look so basic, too basic, is when you don't do a lot of stretches like this. We are dancing and you don't do stretches. You are doing nice things, sometimes hard patterns, but you don't show a lot of stretch. You keep don't doing stretches on the E start. You don't do the effect of the stretch like this. I really want you increase more this stretch and tum tum ta cha ra cha cha and cha churum chum pa cha ra cha cha and cha churum pum pa cha ra cha cha and okay this kind of things do a lot of stretch is not about delay the dance put more counts it's really just increase more your stretch show more on the end before the one both of you show more okay this is stretch you will see a lot of advanced dancers show a lot this with this you create more effect for your dance more elasticity look more nice soft okay so use more this when you will move when you go we start for you leader i wanna you already learn it use your angle so try be continuous because it's already on your way so we do and nice follow or really use your hips in opposite way and 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 so all the time before you go really make sure you are using your hips in opposite way tra ta ta and ta turum pum pa cha ra cha cha so you already know these five points and how you can practice to develop okay the angle to use much more angles on your dance Footworks to play more with footworks on your dance. Don't use a lot of arms to lead. Don't do sugar push all the time, all the time. I wanna you master the ability to structure your dance, to take fast decisions and stretch. Show more stretch, okay? For both of you, and as will help advance your dance. Thank you so much, Manuzet! My dear, pay attention to these details. I know these details will help to advance your dance. You will enjoy your dance much more. And I wanna you do a playlist with the videos for you to remember to practice after, okay? So every video that you are liking on this channel, do your playlist for you to practice later, all right? Click and subscribe to keep learning with me. Remember that I have my full training West Adventure for you. Keep learning much more. I will help you advance your dance, okay? And put in the comments, what do you wanna learn more, okay? I really wanna help you. So, click and subscribe.